welcome to Lakata Live yes. on this what is Tuesday today? the 20th. 20th. Yes, yes. <laughs> Don't let me forget, I've got my wife's birthday tomorrow. Oh, yeah. happy birthday, Thanks. Allison. A little earlier. Yeah, happy little birthday. Early. A little early. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Do you have big plans for oh, the birthday? Oh, huge, huge, yes. You let, have it all let lined me, out let me, let me think. Planned yeah, yeah. And... Well, actually, I'll tell you what we are doing. And we've got an anniversary coming up as well. How which, many years? 45. Anniversary. Thank you, Lauren. And we're going to go down to Richmond on Sunday and try out the new Perry Steakhouse restaurant. Oh, very nice. Remember we I'm went a to little Perry's? jealous. We yes, went to, we in went Texas. To, yeah, we went to Perry's in Texas. Excellent. Highly recommend. Very good. It just opened close to the Short Pump Mall area in uh -huh. Richmond. Well, hopefully they'll have all the little kinks worked mm -hmm. out. Yep, they've been open by the time you go. Yeah, they were op they opened on the fifth of February, so uh -huh. so we're leaving leaving the area for the day on Sunday to to, to go down there. And, oh, very uh, nice, that, so. very nice. Yeah. You, have, you have to report back on the I, next Lakata Live what your experience was exactly. and if it's worth the drive. <laughs> yeah, it was worth the flight to Texas. I oh, can tell was. you that. It, it was. was. Great, great I had probably the so. best steak I've ever had. Yeah. And probably they, in my life. <laughs> they, they have, I, I mean, I'm really promoting them today, but they have a, they call it, I think it's a five finger pork chop. It was huge. Uh, which was obscene <laughs> how huge it was, but it was very, very good. Yeah, and, uh, it was. So that might be on the table. Yeah. On Sunday, so yeah, so a couple Very of nice. a couple of things uh, happening in the McPherson household this life. What's going on in the Cotton household that uh, these, these oh, days? Lots I mean, of stuff. Speaking of anniversaries, my parents are celebrating their fiftieth anniversary oh, on Friday. That's a big one. That's, yeah, that, is that like one where there's diamonds involved? And I don't stuff know. Don't like tell. That? Don't. Hopefully, my mom's not yeah. watching, listening. <laughs> Sorry, you know how, Dad. You know, you know how they have things like <laughs> string and paper. Yeah, and stuff I don't like know. What I the just I've been talking about fiftieth year is. Yeah. I've been yeah. talking about string forever, you know. It's, what would you like that's made of string? You know, what can I get you that's made of rope? <laughs> you rope Don't you the tie a little string around your finger to remind you of something? That, that could be it. Yeah, so, it remind yeah. you to buy but, Allison a diamond. Yeah, when you get to 50, I think that is a pretty big one. <laughs> yeah, we went out Saturday night and celebrated their anniversary. I put together a surprise dinner for nice. them Saturday night, and they were very happy. My mom walked in and... I was, I, I'm not good with surprises. Right. I can keep a secret. You tell me a secret, I'm yep. the girl, I can keep a secret. But a surprise secret, I'm horrible with. And I managed to keep it a secret the whole time. That's so they good. were very surprised. That's and great. we had friends and family and grandkids there. That's so it was good. really nice. That's good. That's good. Very happy. So we're nearly into spring. We are. And I we don't are. know if you noticed, it's been, the weather's been crazy. Of course, it's been affecting yeah. everybody's health and stuff like that. I saw 60s mess. for next week. 60s for next week. That's looked, camping weather. <laughs> <laughs> it's boating weather. And uh, camping so, weather. Yeah, uh, maybe be looking at putting some boats back in the water sooner than yeah. I thought. But we've got some daffodils beginning yeah. to to sprout and uh yeah it's just around the corner yeah. and we were actually this morning in our meeting we were just talking about upcoming uh business activity and yeah. listings and a, so on a and lot of got, upcoming yeah, listings we have a lot of upcoming yeah. listings, which we need because we i think was it 22 or 23 was all it was on yeah in, in yeah it's been hovering right around 20 for mm -hmm. a few weeks so yeah. it's we need and or longer we need yeah. Definitely need some listings. Definitely, definitely. So, yeah, so expect to see some of that. And if you are thinking about doing something with your home, um, that's never too early to talk. Because, no. I, you know, when you look at the time from you start a conversation with uh, your trusted advisor here at the office to the time you go live on the market, you know, and, and do a few things that you yeah. might need to do just to spruce things up a little bit or declutter a little bit. Um, and then you're looking at a 30 day closing, you know, you're, you're almost at summertime. Yeah, yeah. So if you're thinking about it, then, you know, pick up the phone or uh, reach out to us and, uh, well, and just and start to the piggyback off that. Mm -hmm. It's never like David said, it's never too early to, to start the conversation. You know, sometimes sellers think that they need to do certain things to get ready to go on right. the market. And we would love to be able to have that conversation with you because sometimes sorry. there's things that you think you need to do that maybe we would say oh those aren't really a big deal but this is you that's know that's right that's right you, you're often thinking yeah. you've, you've lived with a kitchen or something for a long time and you think oh i really got to fix that before i sell it 
Well, not necessarily. Right. If yeah. it's something that's going to be done by the, the new the new homeowners when they take over the property, mm -hmm. um, that's uh, that, that's perfectly okay to, to approach it that way. Yeah, um, yeah, and I know there's a some talk, you know, from sellers wanting to wait until interest mm -hmm. rates are lower. Yeah. Buyers are saying the same thing. Yeah. You know, there's pros and cons with that. Yeah, you might have a little bit of a lower interest rate, you know, if you're looking to sell your house and move to a new area. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, lower interest rates mean more buyers coming, you know, out of the market that have been waiting it out. Yeah. So you're going to have more competition when you're either purchasing that new house or trying to sell your house. If 10 homes just like yours come on the market mm -hmm. all in the same week, now what sets yours apart? Right now, the lack of inventory is what sets you apart. Right. So. Yeah, the, I think it's one of the questions, and you've heard it more than I have over the years, but timing the market. Yeah. I mean, it's like, oh, let's time the stock market. You know, how can we how can we buy Microsoft? I wish I knew how to time yeah, that market, yeah, yeah. right? And, and it's the same. In, it's the same in real estate, and and the timing timing the market yeah. question we get asked a lot. We do. And it's there isn't there is no straightforward answer to yeah. that and people right now are thinking that timing the market means waiting for interest rates yeah. to, to come down well when they come down guess what's going to happen a whole bunch of other buyers are going to be out there all competing for the same low inventory of, of houses yeah. and, and that is that could i mean we're still in a somewhat seller's market because mm -hmm. there are buyers based on out there. inventory based alone, on inventory alone. Say seller's market yeah and new housing starts across the whole country are still not you know, going crazy. The, yeah, the builders, where they should be, yeah, yeah, the builders are not, um, are not, uh, are not doing it. So, yeah, it, it, I wouldn't wait. Um, you know, mm -hmm. you can, you can always refinance. That's what all the lenders will tell you. That's what we would tell you. You can always refinance if the right house is there just now, and you're able to cover off your down payment, and and and, and even if you have to accept a, a slightly higher mortgage rate at the moment, you can always refinance. But yeah. you're yeah. you're into the house. Your house is a is, is um, rising in value you're building equity and so on it's still it's still the right thing to to do so yeah so switching Good gears point. you want to talk a little bit about what's been going on in our in our clubhouse here at uh, here lake, of the, lake woods. of the woods yeah i know you said you haven't actually been in yet but i've been in the last two weeks i think it is and uh while it, everything's not quite finished yet the the they've they've definitely done a nice job with the flooring and the paint it's a lot fresher um, they're waiting on some furniture coming in and they're waiting on some artwork coming in mm -hmm. but um, it's uh, it's uh, it's very nicely done and it's uh, it's been pretty busy and we can't wait till the deck opens up and we can get yeah. out there as well so yeah. I've heard um, positive things we're actually planning on going Saturday so I'm looking forward to it yeah. and I know the brunch has been very busy and I think last week they had a Lions Club dinner and the week before was a lioness Mm -hmm. meeting and mm -hmm. pajama party is what I think I heard it was. Um, <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> and yeah, well, it was a closed door event. Let's oh, put it that it? way oh. for the lioness. Okay. You know? <laughs> um, we had a little laugh about that. But, um, yeah, no, so that, that's uh, that's good. And, and um, in the lake itself, uh, it seems to be, we're back to levels in the yeah, middle lake yeah. that are, 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 are good. Small lake too. It's small yeah. lake too, yeah. There's I've a, noticed a lot of um, fishermen out over the last yep. week over the weekend we saw lots of fishing boats going back and forth yeah. so yeah. and i watched um a fisherman catch a fish right in front of my house the other day oh, so wow. i know that the fish are starting to bite that's, so that's great yeah. that's great yeah. yeah um so um any upcoming events that we've got coming within our own we've got a we've got a, a um our shred event. Our shred events coming up. <laughs> When's that? It's April twentieth. April twentieth. Check okay. back with us to double check yeah, that yeah, date. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll put that in my calendar <laughs> right. right now. Let me see if I can. It's remember. always the Saturday after tax day. Saturday after tax day. Yes. Yeah, and I think think that's the twentieth. So yes. we have some um, upcoming chamber events too, Orange County yes, Chamber. Yes, yes. And by the way, you are listening to the president of the Orange County Chamber when she says that. So she knows the dates <laughs> and she knows the events. So Lauren, I take, do, it, I take do, it away. I do know the dates and the <laughs> events. Uh, we have our, the Orange County Chamber of Commerce is turning, turns 100 this year. Wow. So we have our centennial celebration uh, with a big centennial uh, gala. Um, that is March 9th, and mm -hmm. that will be a fabulous event. Good food, great location. It's at the um, Lakeland Farm and Pavilion in Orange. 
that's been there before and it's a it's it's a wonderful venue if you haven't been um and then we have our wine festival may 4th and 5th um out near market at grellen um in orange it's a gorgeous gorgeous venue out there so we're just praying praying for great weather (laughs) that kind of makes or breaks our events but lots of um local and not so local uh wineries and cideries great artisan vendors food i think we have five or six food trucks lined up so if live music it's a it's a really yeah, neat and event we, we've we've got some of the orange county chamber uh, brochures for a lot of the things here at the office mm-hmm. you know next to cds if anybody wants to stop by and, and grab them you can see a lot of the other things because i sometimes feel people come and move to the lake and they stay they, right they, here they stay right here <laughs> you know we, there is a lot here but, you know, you come from Northern Virginia and you may still have family there, so you, you're at the lake or you go back up north. You're a lake or you go back mm-hmm, up north. Mm-hmm. You're the lake and you go to Charlottesville. But Orange itself and around the area, so Culpeper good. and so on, there's so many things, yeah. and, and whether it's food or wineries or whatever. And some Historical. Of, yeah. I mean, there's just there's oh, yeah. so much to do yeah. and go and see. So get out and explore it. That's right. Do some hiking, right. some biking and stuff like That's that. Right. So. Come spend your money in Orange County. We'd yeah. love to have you. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Well, well I think, all right. Yeah, I think, I think we're that's good for it. Today. Well, happy anniversary, happy thank you, thank birthday, you, happy to, thank to, to Allison, yeah. all of the above. All right. Thanks all right. a lot, Thanks everyone. for joining us. Take care.